Evening Live. Whether you're a lover of the great outdoors or simply looking for a spot to meet a couple of friends, then this is the right spot for you. It's set in Pretoria. Cowhouse Market offers guests a regular hangout to experience a farm setting, one where you can gather around the country tables and enjoy delicious gourmet food. Now, for more on the market, we're joined by Bobby Van Strape. Welcome to Morning Live. Now, it's either you go to the farm or the farm comes to you. Basically, yes. <laughs> Thank Tell you us about me. the concept. Um, so basically, the cows market is, um, I mean, the whole concept came around the fact, you know, that people don't have enough activities to actually do in the city that offers you an outdoor experience. So we've kind of built around that. And um, it's basically set on a farm, which is not too far out of the city. It's about five kilometers out of the city on, in Silver Lakes. And yeah, it's just a place for people to enjoy, um, like you said, you know, craft food and craft brewers, local designers and arts. Yeah. Now, in your research prior to uh, having the, uh, the market open, do you find that people in the city are looking for something that is more relaxed, more market-like? Is that the direction we're moving more towards more family-oriented uh, places? I definitely think so. Um, I mean, we have a large amount of family groups that come through. And I mean, people from, you know, different kinds of... You know, different races and different groups and everything. It's very, very nice. And I mean, what's great about the, the market is that we offer a lot of activities for the kids to keep them entertained, you know, so the parents can just come through, enjoy the outdoors, and the kids can do some fun activities as well. All right, so exactly what is on offer? So I arrive with a bunch of friends. What can we expect to find? Um, so besides the awesome food, and we've got a lot of craft breweries as well, and even um, craft whiskey distillers. Um, then you've also got the live music, which is really great. It's a mixture between folk, jazz, and um, yeah, rock and roll and that kind of thing. But we keep it a bit more toned, obviously, to keep it family friendly. Um, yeah, the kids can. There's a little kiddies bike park. There's um, private picnic spots where you can go, you know, grab a picnic basket, go through the market, pick out a few cheeses, fresh milk, breads, that kind of thing, and then just go and enjoy the outdoors. And how often do you get together at the car house market? Um, so the market's open on uh, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 until 4, and then we have occasionally on Friday evenings we have events. Um, we've just launched a drive-in theatre, which happened last night, and we had a drive-in screening of uh, Mamma Mia. Um, so we had a lot of people coming through for that. The cyclists also come through because there's um, Hazel Dean Valley trails. So there's a bunch of mountain bike trails. People can go and do walking trails with their dogs. Um, obviously, we have a pet-friendly environment as well, which is nice for the city folks because um, Fairy Glen recently banned their dogs from being in the nature reserve. So we're not that far away from them, which is great. So you can bring your dogs there and just come enjoy the vibe. It's fantastic that you're making you know, uh, provision for fitness enthusiasts what yeah. else is on offer just with regards to that is um, they run yeah <laughs> so um, with the night market that's happening uh, next saturday we're actually doing a brunner's run um so that's in association with brunner's draft um it's also one of the things that's going in the craft industry now um it's a two kilometer race so you get a brunner's draft in the beginning um at the kilometer hydration station and then at the finish line and yeah, it's a fun thing. I think it also, you know, we, I thought it was going to be a bit more for the young folks, but we actually had a couple of older family people coming through as well. I mean, we had a, a, a couple that actually came through with their baby in a pram and did it because it's quite an easy trail run. So it's really fun and exciting. Yeah. All right, Bobby. Uh if I want to find out more about the cowhouse market before I actually make my way to there, do you have an Instagram or Facebook page or Twitter page? Uh, we do have Instagram and we've got Twitter as well, as well as Facebook. Um, it's the cowhouse market. You can check us out on all the social media sites. All right, fantastic. Cool. That is a Bobby Fun Stripe sharing more on the cowhouse market. The venue is also the perfect farm experience for entertaining the young ones with, you know, riding ponies, jumping castles, and so much more. But for now, I was really quick on my fingers. I got their album. Looking forward to being serenaded by their music on my way home. Music from Decca that is still to come here on the show. So, yeah. Take it away.